Now, the House of Representatives has called on the federal government to declare a state of emergency on the flooding in Isherio Jodu and its environs in Lagos State. This comes on a day the parliament stepped down a motion to provide free registration for students in the next JAMB, WIAC, and NECO examinations to ease the pain of your subsidy removal. National Assembly correspondent Joke Adisa has details. Many residents of Isheri Ojudu, a boundary community between Lagos and Ogun states, have been sacked from their homes by flood. Ogun legislator Ibrahim Isiaka seeks prompt intervention of the central government. He wants a state of emergency declared in view of the associated disasters. Because of um, the heavy rainfall and opening of Ogunwashu uh, River Basin, the precarious situation in that axis has drawn all, nearly all the executive members, including the governor of the state, to that area. The House congratulates Nigerian President Bola Tinumbu on the recent reversal of the $11 billion arbitration award in the P and ID deal. The House moves to investigate government's intervention, amounting to over $7 trillion naira in the power sector, despite privatization. Mandate the Committee on Power to investigate all financial interventions in the power sector since privatization. Lawmakers also rejected a motion to grant free registration to students in the next jump, WIEC and NECO examinations. All the Ministry of Education to declare 2023 and 24 WIEC, NECO and job examination registration free to enable common man have a direct benefit of few subsidy removal palliatives. The motion was overwhelmed with members' debate. WAIEC is not for Nigeria alone. And it's asking us to compare so that my government will pay for Syria alone, we pay for Liberia, we pay for Ghana, we pay for the Republic. The House has formally received its 2021 oil and gas industry report on alleged 8 trillion naira missing revenue. Nathan reported that the volume of PMS imported in 2021 under the direct sale direct purchase arrangement based on NMPC record was significantly different from the volume of PMS imported into as per NNDPR record, which indicate that there is no independent top party confirmation of product importation volume and subsidy value. Concerned by the series of flight delays and cancellations, the House called on the Aviation Minister, Chief Executive Officers of Agencies and Operators Associations to develop policies and regulations that protect and preserve the rights of travelers in Nigeria. Jokia Adisa, TVC News, Abuja.